Welcome to Anchor Moment Minutes. I'm Gina LeBenz, and I'm here with a very special guest, Pastor Tony Davis. He's in California right now, and he has quite an interesting story to tell. I can't wait for us all to hear it. Hang on. Tony. Hello, Sis Zina. How are you today? Wonderful. It is so exciting to have you on my show. We, I, are both, we have both been uh, done a lot of broadcasting on Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network together. And yeah. this is the first time, though, that I have you on an Anchor Moment Minute. And it's really exciting because Pastor Tony has a lot of amazing experiences in his lifetime that have brought him to Jesus. And he's gonna share with us today how he really discovered that Jesus is real, that he loves him and knows him. Yes, 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 you know, again, thank you for having me. I'm excited like you are, he's excited to be on your show and just to encourage people. You know, um, uh, real shortly, I, I was born and raised in the South in Mississippi. And mm -hmm. of course, like many of us, I, I was raised in the church, you know, and we always, you know, it was it was a Baptist church. So, you know, we, we, we hear about Jesus, we, we go there, we think it's all this, this is boring, right? It's boring. I don't really, I'm not really getting this, but I'm, I'm hearing it, you know, and I'm seeing people shouting and hollering and like, what's wrong with her, you know? So I didn't really get it back then, even though I felt yeah. it a little. So um, as I got older, graduated from high school, I moved to uh, um, Orlando, Florida. I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. So anyway, I ended up moving to California, you know, about three years after that. And I went to uh, United College of Business and, you know, just began to um, hang out with friends and, and met friends there and began to sing R&B. Mm -hmm. And I remember my mom used to say in my ears, stop singing that stuff and sing for the Lord. I'm like, well, it's no money in, in gospel. Why would I sing R&B? Mom, it's money in this, you know? <laughs> That's uh -huh. my thought. And so like many other people, I got trapped into the R&B life. Um, went to the Hollywood parties with, you know, Magic Johnson and, 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 you know, a new edition party. Just went all over the thing, just partying all in Hollywood, as many of us do. And I'll never forget, um, uh, I, signed, I signed a deal with Warner Brothers. It was called Play for Music. Me and a group called A Touch Plus. And we did this R&B thing all around Hollywood and, you know, did little tours and all that stuff. And some of our songs even went overseas and was on billboards over there. And it was going nowhere. I, I was feeling depressed, sad, even though I had, you know, making a little money there. And, and it just wasn't going anywhere. And, and I was feeling like an empty void was something was missing. And mm -hmm. especially my, my, my mom in my ears, you know. Oh, and yeah. And so I went from there, and, and, and um, all of a sudden, I'll never forget, um, I, I left a party one night I, it, it's on the Holland Drive. I'll never forget, I was at a mansion a party, and I'm like, you know what, um, I'm sick of this. I, I, I'm feeling empty. Mm -hmm. I have something missing in my heart, mm -hmm. and I don't want to go any further with this life. And I, and I jumped in my car. I had a 300ZX red, you know, tops off, you know, uh, just enjoying the uh, moonlight. And I remember, I remember just driving fast around those corners, leaving that party just upset and disgusted with my life. And um, I went around one corner and I'll never forget, I, 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 my, my, my car literally was about to go over a cliff from me going so fast. And it, was, went, okay. it went into a tailspin. And I just knew this was going, this was going to be my end. And I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to die anyway. You know, I just felt oh. that low. Yeah. This is it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, so, and so when I, the uh, car went into a tailspin and all of a sudden, believe it or not, it stopped right at the cliff of the hill, right there off the cliff. And I looked and I felt something inside of me and I, I heard something in my spirit says, reach out to me. You know, I'm standing here with open arms. And it was Jesus. It was Jesus. It was the voice of Jesus in my ears and my spirit, man. And I said, God, forgive me. I want to change. Please give me the strength 
I'm, I'm sick of this lifestyle. Please fill this void. Because I believe that, you know, we are born with this empty void in our hearts mm -hmm. and our spirits. And the only way it can be filled is with Jesus. That's, That's right. the only way. That's the yep. only way. I truly believe that. My mom had been telling me that for years, and I didn't want to listen because I was hard-headed. And I bagged that car up, and from there, I decided to change my life. I had to change friends. I had to, as a matter of fact, I ended up moving away from Hollywood to get out of the contract and to get away from the whole lifestyle. I had to move out of California. I had to just totally get away. And, um, and that's what I did. And my life had changed. And I even started changing my songs. I started writing. My first album was Lord, I Thank You in uh, 19, 1998. And um, it was some of the songs that I had written for R&B. I changed the lyrics to, to gospel. And my producers turned their backs on me in Hollywood. Man, you singing that stuff, man. Come on. They were trying to persuade me to sing back R&B. And I, I couldn't do it. I mean, and when I say I, when I'm the kind of person, when I say I'm going to do something and when I'm sold out to you or dedicated to you, that's yep. what I do. I, I never change. And Me so from, from there, here I am, totally sold out and totally singing gospel and spreading the, the word of gospel to people across the world. Wow. That is such, that is such an inspiring first true anchor moment and uh, encounter to really have that that friendship that one-on-one -on -one friendship with jesus that is beautiful yes that is beautiful hey let's do let's end this episode with a quick prayer for people out there that are watching this video right now that are searching and aching that have that empty spot in their heart to help them to have that personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus. Would you like to lead us with that, Pastor Tony? Sure, sure. Um, right where you are, I want you to just let go and let God. In your situation, your circumstance, begin to ju just release all your pain, your heartaches, your shame, your why me, and say, God, I need you to come into my life. And just, just repeat these words after me. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. I need you right now. Jesus, come into my life. Feel that empty void that's missing in my life. Only you can do it, and I believe this. Jesus, I believe that you died just for me. Jesus, I believe that you was raised from the dead just for me. See, you're making it personal right now. Mm -hmm. If you believe that in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, guess what? The Bible says that you are saved right now. So if you just let go and let God, he's going to turn your situation around. He's going to touch your heart, your mind, your spirit. He's going to move in the miraculous in your life if you just believe him and walk with him. So God, we lift everything to you, all our pains. Please heal us. Please forgive us. We repent. And we thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Thank yes. you so much pastor tony yes, I'm and, honored. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video today please hit a like and if you have any comments that you would like to write and pastor tony and i will we'll try to answer your questions that you put in the comment section and thank you so much for coming and hold on to those anchor moments bye-bye bye-bye thanks for watching Please click to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when we post new Anchor Moments videos.